Alright all, welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to manually level your bed on your 3D printer. Now when you've got your 3D printer and you've assembled it, this is the very first thing you're going to need to do before you even think about printing. So stay tuned and I will give you a step by step guide on how to manually level your 3D printer bed. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do before you do anything else is you want to go to your bed levelling nuts here and what you want to do is you want to wind them down okay so that will lower the bed down so when we first home the machine the nozzle isn't then going to crash straight into the bed just in case so go ahead and lower your bed all the way down and you don't need to go all the way as far as it'll possibly go just drop it down a few centimetres just so we know when we home the machine the nozzle isn't okay, going so to next job bed. once we've lowered the bed down you're going to want to go ahead and turn your printer on and once your printer is up and running you're going to want to go into prepare and you're going to want to preheat your nozzle and your bed so Preheat your nozzle to around 200 degrees and preheat your bed to around 60. Okay, because we all know when metal and everything's heated up, it all expands and contracts. So you need to level your bed with a hot bed and a hot nozzle. And obviously also, if there's any bits of filament that's come from the factory that's still stuck to your nozzle, heating it up will obviously then remove that. Because if you don't heat it up and level your bed cold, you, and then when you heat it up everything is going to be out because anything that's going to be stuck under here when you go to level your bed it's going to feel like your actual nozzle is touching your piece of paper but it isn't it's going to be old filament that's stuck up under there so once this is heated up we can then move on to the next okay, step so now printer's all up to temperature bed's nice and hot nozzle's warm and hot as well so your next step you're going to want to go into your menu and you're going to want to auto home your printer which will then bring the nozzle down into the home position. So while that's doing, you want to go and grab yourself a sheet of paper. Now I'm just using a plain sheet of A4 paper. Make sure you use paper, don't use cardboard because obviously cardboard's a lot thicker than paper. So just grab yourself a sheet of A4 plain paper. Now you can see the printer is auto-homed and we have a nice gap between the build plate and the nozzle. So what you want to do next is you're going to go into your settings again and what you're going to want to do is disable your steppers and once your steppers are disabled you can then freely move the hot end and the bed together. Now this is where your piece of paper is going to come in. Lay your piece of paper on the bed. And then slowly adjust your knob under your bed so it'll then raise the bed up. You don't want to go all the way up to the top of the nozzle because as you raise up the other corners it will then also raise this corner back up. So once you've raised this corner up as you can see here not quite touching the paper you're going to want to move your print head over to the next corner raise that up slightly you don't, want it so it's, you don't want it touching just yet you just need to get it into rough position first and once you've done that corner pull the bed towards you up to the back corner same again raise the knob up slightly and then we want to go over to the next corner And raise the knob up slightly. Okay, I can just feel a little bit of resistance, so back it off a little tiny bit. And then we'll come back to the front corner again. Put our paper under. Now what we want to do now is raise the bed up a little bit more so we can actually feel the nozzle scratching 
on the paper. Can you hear that? Doesn't want to be massively tight, but you want to feel a little bit of resistance. And we're going to move over to the next corner again. Raise the bed up. So we can feel a bit of resistance. Back to the back corner. Now when you're adjusting these ones up or down, it will then put the back ones out. So you may just need to slightly tweak it until you can feel that resistance. Over to the next corner. Now that's too tight because it's jamming the paper, so we need to drop it down a bit. Yeah, a bit of resistance. And you want to go around and do this about three, three or four times. You want to spend a little bit of time just getting this right. See, as I've now adjusted that back corner, this front corner has then become too tight. Let's say go around three or four times until you've just got a nice little bit of resistance, not too much. And you can hear it scratching the paper. And then for the last step, you're going to need to move your nozzle to the middle of the bed. And check that. Mine is absolutely perfect. Now if you find this too tight in the middle, or not tight enough, start by adjusting each bed knob on the corners a quarter of a turn, same direction, up or down, each one a quarter, just to raise it all up to the same level. So that nozzle is then nicely touching the bed and that's it guys that's the simple way to level your bed so make sure your bed's hot your nozzles hot auto home your machine use a piece of A4 paper underneath the nozzle on four corners once you're happy go around three or four times once you're happy that the nozzle is just a little bit of resistance on that piece of paper then check your middle and then you are done. Your printer is ready to go. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this of some use. If you did, please leave me a like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!